Hey guys, it's John. Doing something a little different with the cam this time. Um, don't worry about it. Anyway, we're back with uh, Scrutinize. This is part four. If you haven't seen the previous three parts, there's a link to the playlist in the description. You can check out previous episodes and future episodes. We're gonna try to beat the game today. Important note, if I don't beat the game today, we're gonna have to uh, move on to some other games for a little bit. I should get I can't, to my computer and get the. I night can't started. just hold my channel hostage until we beat this game because then we'll be here for a really long time. Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry, there was a bit of a gap between the last video and this one, but um, I had many attempts that were just not successful, and. It's tough. It's a tough. This is a tough game to beat. All right, we started off with a little Joseph Chase. Oh, I forgot. I only needed to do two. All right, Brody Stewart. Shred it, please. Unknown. I walked into the bathroom. Muriel Noland. That's a shred. Uh, you don't even have to look at the cameras or check the lights or anything on night one usually. You might as well not do it because the chances that you'll die on night one are really small. And if you do die, you can just start over anyway. It's not like it's that big of a setback. I'm actually gonna, I don't know if this makes a difference. Let's just open it up. Look at how fast I'm getting at this, man. This guy's not a shred. Humphrey Breen, he's that old guy. Which I know really narrows it down. Uh, some people have asked why I don't look, why I don't like specify what I'm searching for, like eye color or hair color or anything, and it's because you don't have to. Like you straight up don't have to do that. You can just do it by gender, male or female, and then you just scroll to what you want. It's way faster than doing anything else with it. So you just grab the end, and then there it is. And it's way faster than just searching up like, oh, blue eyes, brown hair, uh, height, five foot to six foot, all that stuff. You can just find it way easier. Cool. Night three. And uh, that was done in about 10 minutes. So, getting faster at it. Don't turn my lights off. Don't turn. Don't turn. Don't turn my lights off in my house. That doesn't really work. That's... Oh boy. That's a police song. Not the lyrics, but the melody. It's a song called Don't Stand So Close To Me. That's actually, I don't know if that's the full title. That's just the chorus. And not every title of every song is the full chorus line. But when I don't know the exact line, when I don't know the exact title, I just assume it's the line. Okay. All right. This is fun. We're gonna, I mean, I'm, I'm in it to win it. Let's go. All right, unknown. I've been down the dumps. I believe this is a shred, but let me double check. Once again, I am using a bit of a database. No, this is not a shred. Good thing I didn't just shred it. Oof, that could have been bad. This is somebody named Jesse Porter, who is female, actually. I can't remember. Uh, they're male, actually. Ooh, that's disappointing. Jesse Porter, where you at? There you are. Yeah, he does have some incriminating text messages. One thing I would not recommend doing is getting on the camera while you're cracking a rootkit. I've been killed because of that before, and I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I did. All right. Go, go, go. 
No time to stand around, buddy. Jason Floyd, you're a shred, aren't you? Aren't you, buddy? Jason Floyd, I'm pretty sure I've shredded you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gonna check the lights. Night three is when they start kinda moving a little faster. Night three is probably when I start worrying a bit about dying. It's gone to that point. Um, I can't wait till I don't have to worry about dying on night three. It's just Tanner, man. He's an ass. Scott Sanders. Night four? All right, I'm pretty much, I, I've gotten to the point where I consistently get to Night five, knock on wood. Stop doing this. You see this? Stop doing this. I know some of you guys have been telling me to open my window or whatever. I, and I, I appreciate, I bumped my mouse. I appreciate you looking out for me and everything, but I really, I haven't noticed any audio cues and we have an open window in here and the lights go out, the kidnapper can just walk on in in the later nights when things get really fast. So I'd rather not do that. I've been doing just fine uh, with what I've been doing. Unknown, I was jogging around the park. I, pfft. The unknowns are tough to keep track of. This person's guilty. Their name's Carolyn O'Neill. Definitely. Girl, one cool thing about Rosanna Abedi, one cool thing about her is that you don't actually need to get into her phone to convict her. One of the few that I found that you don't actually need to crack their phone. So you just you just get these three, the first three uh, receipts, and that was incorrect. Okay, don't listen to me. I got jump scared. Dude. I got jump scared by getting the th <laughs> the crack wrong. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> it's just a sudden loud noise. All right, and I'm already on edge. That means we're good, I think. Should I cut a body up before burning it? Should I pull the body? Oh my gosh. Come on, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Any you guys play NBA 2K? My career? I've been getting back into NBA uh, 2K 2015. It's an older one, but it's a good one. I love the cutscenes. They're so bad. I love it. It's it's like a, it's like such a good bad. There's always these awkward silences. Every single time you get called into the general manager or the coach's office, they talk to you for like two seconds, and they, they just talk to you like you're nothing the whole time. And at the end of it, they say, "Get out of here! Go on, get out of here!" That's how they end conversations in the NBA, apparently, in professional basketball. They just tell you, "Get out of here!" It doesn't matter if you're averaging 50 points a game or what. Get out of here! That was wrong. That was wrong? Yeah, I caught you, Tanner. Where does he go? Alright. Jennifer Connelly. One good thing about Jennifer Connelly is you don't have to hack her phone. You can just go on her social media and just do that. Really nice. Really nice to not have to do that. Okay, Robbie Linden, you're a shred. It helps to save time wherever you can, I believe. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna double check this one. 
Edmund, I'm pretty sure, is a shred. Okay, you are a shred. <laughs> Carl Crumb, not a shred. We know that for sure, don't we, Carl? We go way back, Carl. Way back to part one. You know what's weird? I'm gonna use an instant crack here. You know what's weird is that sometimes around this time, around like night four or five, you get those uh, double lines. But then it's like most of the time I get about 19 seconds to do it. And then sometimes, inexplicably, it's 10. I don't get it. I don't, sometimes it gives me double the time. Like doing that in 10 seconds is a little tough. Doing it in 19, not tough at all. So I don't get it. I don't get that part of this game. Well, I don't get a lot of parts of this game. <sighs> anyway, subred, hat, locks for tots, King Kong, get out of here, Carl, get out of here. All right, and <sighs> night five. Okay, here's where the game really starts. And you don't get extra DOS coin. By the way, night five, you don't get extra DOS coin. Frustrating to say the least. You get it for other nights, but not not night five. I was about to say, why, that, why is that door open? But then I remembered, oh, that's right, I opened it. I have a lot of moments like that while playing this game. Who unlocked these windows? I did, during the day. I don't even think that he, can he even fit through that window, the kidnapper? Do I really need to worry about that window? He ain't fitting through there, come on. Right? Back me up, y'all. All right. Uh, unknown. I had a new neighbor move in. Yeah, you know, we're all fascinated by your life. Let's see, had a neighbor. This is someone named uh, Alethea Rose, which I think is is girl. Cool, Max Beaumont. You shred. You know, I know I've said that there's no audio cues, but I've been a little suspicious about the van driving away. I assume it's a van. We can't see it. I don't think it is, though. I haven't... Dude. Here's a fun experiment we could do. We could hang out and just in one of the rooms in the dark with like the window locked and just see how long it takes him to lock pick. Like see how long it takes for him to walk up to the window and begin lock picking it. That could be a fun experiment. Has anyone done that? Starla Martin, you are guilty as hell. <laughs> Starla. I remember you. I remember. Aha! All right. Usually if you get the, if you get the one light, you don't need to go and be like, is there another light that turned out? Because there's usually, it's usually just one. <laughs> Fucking don't do that. My God. <sighs> Asshole. I know some of you guys like Tanner. But honestly, it's a little weird. That was close. Alright, 
We are good. <sighs> Preston. All these texts. Every text you've ever sent is incriminating, Preston. Hernando. Thank you so much, Hernando. Zora, you're also a shred. Unknown. I know this guy. I know this guy. I know this guy. And he's unimportant. <laughs> Sent oh, what the hell, dude? What the hell? Hilton Woods. This is the last guy. Th I know this guy. Hilton Woods. Come here. out. Don't do this. You don't have to do this. You don't have to kill me. You don't have to kill me in the closet with my router. Oh, why is my router in the closet? Why is it there, dude? Night six. All right. Finally get to go to bed early for once. All right. I think... I think my main complaint about the game is that it takes forever to get to night ten. It's not so much that it's... It's not so much that it's like really hard or anything. It's difficult. But, you know, a single mistake, you know, like missing Tanner on the cameras, a single mistake will kill you. And then you gotta go through this like bare minimum, you know, two, two, two and a half hours to get to night 10. I mean, how, how long have I been going on this one run? Let me see, let me check. I've been going, I've been going about 40 minutes, and, uh, I mean, I'm only on night six, and, I mean, as you can see, we gotta do 11 cases today, tonight, rather, so, gimme, it just, it just goes up, you know, it, the, the later nights take a lot longer, than the earlier nights, obviously, because there's there's way more cases. Add into that, like, even if you ward off all the threats, like, if you get any of the um, cases wrong, you can only get four total wrong on normal, which is better. It's better than it used to be. It used to be... It used to be three. You could only get three wrong. Adam was merciful. Gave us an extra mistake we can make for a total. You can only miss three. You know, not like if you hit four out of four, it's game over. So it went from two to three, actually. If you think about it that way. All right, Albert E. Wing. That was close. That was really close. Albert, what do you got? How to hit without bruising, how to clear a criminal record, bye-bye. Susan Martin. <laughs> I don't know when he would have even run through. Darn. Night six, though. We're on the- we- we, we got to the home stretch. 
Just another hour and a half to go. I'm a dog walker. Oh god, this one's really gross, guys. Okay. James Coon. Oh, wait, let's see what this guy's guilty of. <laughs> oh, not Ed Friendly. Okay. All right, let's take a look at James Coon's search history together, shall we? Delete search history. Did that work? Delete search history. How to become a dog walker. Coprophilia. Hmm. How to sterilize feces. Parasites from eating poop. Animal feces to human feces diet. He eats poop. And as you can see, I didn't get that one wrong. He's not, he's, oh, this man poisoned my dog. He actually didn't poison my dog. That's a shred. Um, yeah, so that one, that one's so weird. Like, so many of them are like, they're a domestic abuser, or they're a kidnapper, or they're like, a drug dealer, or a murderer, or something. That guy just... Okay, here's a tip. If you want to play this game with, like, no database, no clues, no sheet full of, uh, case answers. Generally, the less detailed it is, means it's a shred. Just want to throw it out there. Not always, but it's a good, if you're pressed for time and you're desperate and you like, you're at 9 out of 10 for the night, if you want a chance that you can. <laughs> By the way, uh, out of 200 cases, there are 98 shreds. So if you just want to randomly shred something, if you get really paranoid out, or if you just want to meme, you just want to have some fun. Yeah, it's literally a coin flip. As to whether or not you'll be right. Some fast facts for you, from me. Man who's been playing this game too much. Yeah, like I said, if I don't beat it in this video, you have to move on to other stuff, and I'll play this in the background. Can't just keep posting videos off scrutinized. Not making any progress. There's no point in that. I mean, I'm doing- I, I've, I've pretty much figured it out. Like, I've pretty much figured out... ...what to do. Um... And, like, how to play it and everything. It's just... Uh, getting through the RNG factor, I guess. We're getting lucky with catching Tanner on the... ...on the cameras. That's basically what it's boiling down to now for me. I would say. Just... Just getting the lucky run. Alright. Night three. A little update for you. Night four. Hmm. Like I said, I can reliably get to the middle nights. Pretty much no problem now. It's just starting starting around night five. It's when there's trouble. Did you hear that? Knocking on the glass. I was right next to the window where it was happening. But there was nothing there. Another audio cue that's, like, not a thing. It's just ambient noise, guys. I don't know how else to prove it to you. He got in. He's hiding in the closet. A lot of people are like... A lot of people told me... If he hides in the closet... And you go to your computer... He kills you. Interesting. Seems like that's not true either. I don't know where some people get this stuff, man. Look at you. So happy. So guilty! Bro, I don't even wanna- I don't even wanna look at you. I don't even wanna look at you, dude. Guilty! Guilty as hell! <sighs> like, you know how- You know how a scientific theory is formed? You got your hypothesis, right? Like, for example, it seems like when Tanner goes into the closet, if you go to the computer, he kills you. 
Well, we could run experiments on that over and over again, which I have. Seen him go in the closet, go straight to the computer, get up multiple times, never die. But anyway, that's how you find out how the game works, all right? You gotta run constant experiments, and uh, part of that is by playing the game. That's a good way to find out how it works, is by playing it yourself. It may seem like I'm banging on and on about this, but honestly, I don't really have much else to say <laughs> at the moment. We're just doing cases. We're just doing cases. We're do uh, leave a detective alone, all right? I am really curious if Tanner goes in the closet, if he's like shut down for the rest of the night or what. That's why I want to know. I haven't run enough. I haven't run enough uh, tests to see if that's even true. I will say the nights that I've had Tanner hide in the coat closet, he hasn't killed me, or he hasn't, first of all, he hasn't killed me, and second, he actually, he doesn't appear on the cameras after that. I have never seen him, like, sprinting towards the house after he hides in the coat closet. That doesn't mean that he doesn't. Whoa, the chair scared me. Dude. Chair scared me. Okay, we're probably good though. Probably. I haven't been killed by the kidnapper in like forever, so... You know what, if that's not what you do, then I welcome it. Okay. Dude, if the kidnapper... ...kills me here, I give him major props, because he hasn't done it in a while. Dude, can you... Can you at least pull up the phone, like, in a place where I can get to it, man? <laughs> Alright, night five. Or night six, what are we on? Must, uh... Okay, let me explain what happened. Remember what I said earlier, like, if the kidnapper kills me, props to him, because it hasn't happened in a long time. That's probably the first time since the first video I did. Wow. Um... So what happens is, if you file a report at the end of a night, and there's a light off somewhere in the house, then he breaks in and kills you in your sleep. All right, that's what happens. So that's why I died there. Um, <laughs> that sucks. I've been I, I got a little bit lazy. Normally, before I do the last case, I go through and I turn on all the lights. Uh, all right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. We were, we're like it's like I just gotta get a good run. I'm at the point I. I've made it- I made it to night 7 off camera, and I feel like if I can make it to night 7, I can make it to night 10. It's just gonna take- like, I'm- I'm gonna have to catch Tanner at the right moments on camera, and I'm gonna have to, like, you know, get in the groove with it. I wish there was some pattern to Tanner. He's really the only thing that's holding me back. <laughs> I- I obviously, like, I got a little- I- I- I died there from the kidnapper, but I got a little- that's because I know what happened. I got a little lazy there. Didn't check all the lights all the time, which I need to do. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna move on to some other games for a while and just, I'll, I'll keep playing this from time to time and recording it, but if I do a recording and I don't get further, if I don't beat the game, if I don't make significant progress or see something new, then I'm not gonna upload it, you know? Cause then I'm just uploading more and more videos of the same thing and people will lose interest. Or at least I will lose interest in doing that. So yeah, we're gonna move on to some other games, but I'll still be playing this, I'll still be recording it. I just won't upload anything unless it's new. You know what I mean? Because I think we've seen we've seen pretty much everything the game has to offer, except for the ending and the final night gameplay. So I'll see you then. And uh 
Until then, thanks for watching. Whatever. Been doing this for 10 years and I still screw up outros sometimes. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.